Hi sister, Sarah Jean here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Was that right? Did I do it? Did I do it right? Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I have something to show you guys and something to tell you. I love makeup. I love everything about makeup. I think makeup is just such a great way to express yourself. I love watching makeup tutorials and beauty gurus. I, it's my own personal entertainment and it's the greatest thing in the entire world to watch. Uh, guessing from the title of this video, you guys already know what's about to happen and I'm so excited to show you guys something. This is it. This is the Morphe James Charles mini palette. I am so, so excited about this palette. When I first heard that um, James and Morphe were coming out with the mini palette, I was like, I have to get this. I absolutely have to get this. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun and also interesting and also scary if I try to follow a James Charles makeup tutorial using the James Charles palette. It will probably be horrible because I'm gonna put the disclaimer out now. I am not a beauty guru, okay? I'm not an expert. I'm not a professional makeup artist. I would say I'm like a step up above amateur, like a, like a smidge, like a miniature size step up from amateur. Just a little bit. But I am no like super freaking talented, you know, artist like James Charles. I'm not James Charles. I am not a beauty guru. I'm just an amateur. I am a, I'm a I want to be a beauty guru. I'm a wannabe beauty guru, okay? I've got my pinkity drinkity, except I don't like the pink drink from Starbucks, so I have the uh, very, very thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just like James Charles today, guys. I'm like, are, isn't there a resemblance? There's totally a resemblance. Like, come on. I also wanted to give you guys like an honors review of the palette because I've never tried it at all. I never even tried the original. Um, so this is literally the first time I'm actually using this, looking at it, opening up. The day I found out it was coming out, I literally, I waited outside of the Ulta store near my house before it even opened. I was the first person in and I went straight to the Morphe section and I was like, where's the James Charles palette? I was like, do you guys have the mini palette in yet? Where is it? And I literally was the first person, I kid you not, the first person in the Ulta store near my house to get it. I'm not joking. All right, so let's get started. I've already done my base and my sperm brows because let's face it, you don't wanna see this face without any makeup and yeah. And yes, I call my eyebrows sperm brows because let's face it, it's pretty obvious. So we are gonna first start by opening it up. I absolutely love this packaging. I don't know if you can really see it. I have really terrible lighting. I don't have a light stand yet, so. But I just think it's like, it's so clean looking. It's so fresh. Um, I love, I absolutely love this makeup look that James did with his eyes. Um, I was gonna try and recreate that, but that's uh, very ballsy of me to do. So instead, we're gonna find a different one. And I'm still gonna fail at it, doesn't matter. I'm gonna open it up. Ignore my really gross nails right now. I have not had time to redo them. Oh, I don't want to like bend the box. I'm trying so hard not to bend the box. So. Ah, the angels have come down upon us to witness this historic moment on here. And yes, I'm gonna play with the bubble wrap later. Here it is, here it is. It looks so pretty and so fresh and clean. So part of me loves that it's like all like, you know, black on black, like, you know, really shiny black on like matte black. But at the same time, it's like hard for me to see because I don't know, let's face it, my eyes are probably terrible. Got some ASMR for ya. And there goes the sheet with all the names on it. It is so pretty. Oh my God, you can totally see me recording recording me oh, oh it's like a it's like one of those rooms where it's got like mirrors all around you and it's just like you know inception look at all of this first off the one thing that makes me also super excited about this is that James said that they added a mirror to the palette which is super handy and super perfect especially if you're traveling this is the little sheet that has all of the names on it 
I'm probably gonna keep it on here so that I actually know which ones are which. Only thing, instead of this sheet, like having this sheet with the names on it, I would have rather you actually like put, you know, the names like under each shade just because that's a little bit easier. Probably like a good amount of people are gonna throw this out and then forget which shades are which. Look at me giving reviews. Wow, I'm doing so great. So the makeup tutorial that I'm gonna be following today is from James Charles's video where he does his entire face just using his palette. I'm gonna skip ahead and just go straight to the eyes. Pull up my sleeves, things might get dirty. I'm going to tap off any excess and use this with just little patting motions all across the eye. Lid. Okay, so I gotta prime my eyes. Huh, huh. Okay, the only like eye primer that I have uh, is this one. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Brightener. So he puts it on like his hand. Um, I find that really weird to do. Am I a beauty guru yet? This is probably like so attractive to watch. Definitely did not put enough on. We're just gonna go straight in with the primer. So it's just like, oh God, oh uh -huh, God. And then up to my brow too. This feels like so much primer. I try to use like very little product, like a whole lot of cake going on. My pores are shaking. I do want to go in and play with a few different colors when it comes to the actual eyeshadow. Why not let Unleash Our Inner Artist yeah, stick together? Yeah, Unleash Our Inner Artist. I want to do like a sunset smoky eye mold with a blue and purple on the lid. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna do that and hope that it looks oh, good. Okay. I'm first gonna grab my M456 brush and dip into a little bit of a mix of the shades Cola and Escape. And I don't have that brush. I don't have that. This is the only eye brush that I have. Cola. Oh, that's the dark blue and Escape is the, oh, the purple. Can I see? I know this. I watched, I watched James Charles. Just pack this literally right on that outer V. Okay, chill, chill, honey. Okay, so. I don't want to touch it because it looks so perfect, but I have to now. <laughs> so outer corner. Oh god. I, I use the mirror, Sarah. That's what it's here for. Don't look at this camera. Oh, okay, that's oh. oh, that's so bright. Oh, that that's oh, that's okay. We're no no turning back now. Okay. This is honestly, I feel like this is gonna look like a huge mess, to be honest. I'm gonna mess this up so badly. Oh God, it's just so bright. Hi sisters, I gotta teach you. That's a, this is quite a look. I'm gonna dip into the shade Single, which is the single. bright purple. And I'm going to use the shade to diffuse out that edge, making sure to keep this once again very, very low to the eyelid because we have a lot of colors. I'm basically laying this purple right over top of those two dark shades just okay. to kind of diffuse the edge. Okay, so. um, single? Is which one's single? Oh, it's the purple. Okay. Put it all in my crease. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> I'm like so scared. I know I already started, but I'm like so scared. Oh God, okay, all right. Um, I definitely don't have the right brush to do this. Um, it looks kind of pretty, but it also looks hella messy. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh, God. Oh, oh God. Lord, Lord, sweet baby Jesus, help me, please help me. She hella bright though. Hi, honey, who is she? Okay, let's just keep going. I'm gonna grab the shade You're Kidding. Literally my favorite red in the entire world. You're kidding. And I'm just gonna buff out once again that line. But honey, please stop. Oh, that's like really bright. That's a really bright color, man. James also needs to like, please talk a little bit slower because I, my brain can't process any of this. Um, so, oh God, the, this is, oh, this is a lot, this is a lot. I'm gonna like wipe some of this off first. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh God, oh dear, dear. Okay, it's looking more pink, oh no, my God, no. This looks red, this looks red on camera. Wow, um, yep, that, that's red. I know, I really need like better brushes in order to like make this like look extra sharp. <sighs> I'm gonna FaceTime Anthony later and be like, 
Um, I did something. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what happened to your face? And I'm gonna be like, James Charles happened to my face, guys. James Charles happened to my eyes, okay? Oh God. Is this supposed to be a sunset? Is that the, that's what it's supposed to be? I don't know what this is. I don't know what's happening anymore. Who am I? I have this one. I don't know, maybe this will give me like a bit more definition to it. Oh, kinda. Okay, that works. James Charles, if you ever watch this, I am so sorry. I really am trying my hardest right now. Fun. This is fun. We're having fun. Another M456 and dip into the shade 518. And this is the bright neon orange. And I'm going to diffuse out the red. And I'm definitely taking my sweet time, especially since we're getting close to the eyebrow. Lastly, I'm going to grab a little bit of B on an M514 brush and just use this. Oh, to honey, that's way too orange. late now. We are far past that. Okay, 518. I know who that is. My boyfriend's from that area code. Oh god. This is, I'm running out of space and I don't have brows. And I have to take my sweet time buffing this. Girl, I'm gonna rush through this because I'm hella scared and I wanna get off this ride right now. This is, this is just wild. Ugh, oh, foot fell asleep again. <laughs> Okay, B, 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 B. Is it the bright yellow? I need a break. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, that's yellow. That's yellow on my eye. I don't think you can even see it because it's all. It's looking like tie dye right now. Is that was that the premises of this, or did I just really mess up all of this? From far away, this looks okay. Up close. I don't know. I think I want to do a pop of blue on the actual eyelid. So, oh, I should probably cut the crease. No, 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 no. I have to cut my, I have to cut my crease. I have to cut my crease. I don't want, I don't know how to cut my crease. My biggest fear is cutting the crease. I don't know how to do it. I don't understand it. You didn't show me how to cut the crease. We're having fun, guys, right? Is, is this fun? So, is this, am I doing this right? <sighs> this is so stressful. You guys literally have no idea. I'm, I'm not one to get like anxiety or everything, but this is giving me a lot of anxiety at the moment. <laughs> Looking at this more, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think I'm making a little bit of progress and I'm sure in my practice, um, maybe I'll get kind of close to what he's envisioning. I'm going to into the shade acapella on my M124 and give it a quick spread of my setting spray and I'm going to okay. put um, right on the outer Acapella, acapella, uh, 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 shiny blue, shiny blue, okay. No, I've got Oh, I see why you do it, because it makes it really pigmented. I don't even know if it's going anywhere. I'm literally, like, just patting it. Same brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Hello, which is a bright metallic teal shade. A little bit more of the setting spray, and I'm gonna tuck this shade on the inner half of the eyelid. Oh god, um, Hello? It's like, that's like ice blue. It's, it's that one, it's that one right there. Okay, so, um, I'm looking at my actual face now. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's kind of some fallout happening on my nose at the moment. Um, and I can definitely see some fallout underneath my bags um, because I don't sleep anymore. But that's the only thing is that some of these like really darker shades, like the blue, seem to have a lot of, not a lot, but there's definitely a bit of fallout. For the lower lash, I'm going to start off with a little bit of your kidding, just right up against the lash. Okay, and then just a little bit kidding. of ink to blend that right out. And I have to like really buff this out. Like if I ever did my lower lash line with like pinks or reds, it makes me look like I have pink eye. This looks like nothing. With a little cute mini M152 brush, two of these come with a brush set. I'm gonna grab so a tiny little bit of escape and use line. this. Finally, last but not least, just to tuck this right up against that lash line for a little bit of dimension and to connect it. Did that do it? No, I don't think so. God, I literally stuck it in my eyeball. This actually, this was looking fine until I did the lower lash line. Because the lower lash line now, it just looks, it just, it just does not. Shades ring light and so good. Give it a quick little spritz. And I'm going to tuck this shade 
right on top of that. Finally, I'm gonna use that same exact mixture, pop a little bit on the And I think I finally, <laughs> that is what I okay. all complete. Oh my god, you guys, I don't know why that took me so yeah, long. Yeah, when did it take I so long? I still struggle with sunset smoke, guys. Every single time I do, I generally just don't understand how some people can fit so many colors in such a short mm -hmm. space. Like, literally, this tiny little space has to have eyebrow highlight and yellow and orange and red and magenta and purple and dark purple. Like, how? You just how did, did it. I clearly did not. I guess that's that's it for the eyes. Blowing off the palette so there's no other fallout. Oh, that okay. So you know what? The mascara makes it look better. Um, I think it kind of hides most of the mistakes. That. Yep, we're done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. This is this is a vibe. This is the final look with the new Morphe James Charles mini palette. Um, I gotta say, I love this palette. I absolutely love it. Despite me panicking throughout the entire video, I love this palette. I love the pigments of these shades. I'm excited to play with this on my own time and not for the internet um, where they can like cruelly judge me. I love this. The shades are so pigmented. Like, look at this. Look at this stuff. Like. You know, my blending may not be great, but these shades are like so pigmented. This was a nice like push for me to really start getting into these different shades of eyeshadow. I've always been very scared to use, you know, blue and uh, yellow and orange um, and really, really bright shades. Um, so this was kind of a nice little challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you get a notification of every time I post a new video. If you liked these sort of makeup videos, let me know in the comments. Let me know if I should do more of these things. You guys can follow me on all of my social medias down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go wash all of this off and not show anybody. And um, yeah, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.